And I think... I want to say it was a Thursday when I first started streaming, so I think this upcoming Thursday is four months since I've started streaming. Uh, I've been growing slowly but surely. Must have burned these notes himself. The hunt wouldn't have bothered. Meaning he knew they were looking for him. Yeah, we know the the old uh, move the the bookshelf aside, and there's gonna be a hidden path there. Where was all that, uh, like, water coming from? Let's see it now. Look at this. What is this? What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. Would anybody like some grape or some cheese? It's right here. Grapes and cheese, guys. The Elder Blood. Yeah, there, I have so many books in this game that I want to read through. So maybe we can have a little bit of story time coming up here. Learn a little bit more about the world. I also want to play the card game again. But I haven't seen anybody... Seen another opponent playing it. Or an NPC, rather. Uh... Hmm. Mysterious Mage Herbalist. Herbalist. I don't think there was anything else down there. Uh, let's check this bookshelf. Introduction to Applied Magic. Nice. I think that's it. I, we already read that. Alright, so we gotta touch the dove again. Dove love. No? Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. Is this medallion? This wall? Well, I couldn't tell if that was his medallion moving it's because he was moving. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Hmm. Thanks. She's pretty good looking for a witch. That's all I'm saying. Uh, uncovering illusions. When you notice the shimmer in the air, walk toward it. You are close. Press A to dispel the illusion. How would I know? Is Geralt's medallion moving? I can't tell. Simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see where the passage leads. Save. Doo -doo. Jump, Geralt. More cutscenes. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Will there be a genie that comes out of this lamp? And will we get three wishes? Because if so, I'll, I'm doing it. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. I mean, she helped us get to this point, so why not? To find something here. Yes, level six. Wow, they weren't kidding when they were like, do the main story. I've already leveled up twice already. Magic lamp. Yeah, man. You were supposed to help me, Geralt. Wait, is that the? I, oh, that is that the exit? I'm sorry, madam. I didn't mean to go that way. Of course, that's the exit. You fool! Stairs going up. Looks like another damned riddle to me. <laughs> oh, the quest for the magic lamp. I'm so nice. This is true. 
Yes, we know what to do here. We're gonna ignite all of these things. What does the door say? Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. <laughs> four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. Light the the first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. Sounds like a riddle, all right. We're gonna have to try to figure out the correct way to light the fires. This is gonna be fun. Uh, I would rather repeat the inscription, please. Mind repeating the riddle? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. So he's not on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The second one's right next the to you. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. So it sounds like the first one you light is not on the end, so it's either directly left to the door or to the right of the door. Maybe I should write this down. <laughs> I think I know how to do it, but let's do the old-fashioned pen and paper, rather than looking it up. I'll make sure this works. All right, one more time so I can write this down. Mind repeating the riddle. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. <laughs> One more time, just to make sure I got this right. Mind repeating the riddle? First, not by the end, second four by the first. Gardens, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. Mm -hmm. The second, by, second the first, by the first, played a woeful lament. Third. The third kept close to his close faithful to the beast. beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus okay. they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Got it. Totally, totally wrote it down. It's right here. Don't remember the last time a game has made me try to remember something by writing it down. Let's try it. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. Get the brazier in the correct order. This is kind of reminding me of a quest in The Witcher 2, which you had to light things correctly, and... It was like towards the end of the game. It was an optional sort of quest thing. Oh, look, there's the beast thing there. Okay. That's a musical instrument. That's also a beast as well. Um, let's see. I want to say this one, because the first one is not in the end, so it's either the middle it's either this one, or the, the one to the left, and I think it's this one. So green must be good. Uh, the second one is by the first. Um, 
So I imagine this one. Wait. Something just happened. One <clears throat> behind that wall, a movement. So now the third is close to the beast, the fourth is not by the first. So I imagine that one is the last one. So three should be this one. Yep. I imagine the green fire means it's good. Let's see if it's right. Yes, we did it. Nicely done. The writing stuff down actually helped to solve a riddle. That's how you solve a riddle. <gasps> Looks like some elven sanctuary. Don't rub the lamp. Whose grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the go. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? I need to loot first. That's my thing. No. Sage's notes. Interesting. <clears throat> Cavalry boots. Probably need to go back to town and like start selling some stuff. Um, I think that's it. What do you got to say, Kara? Nothing. Whoa! Slide on down. All right, let's get out of here then. Anybody think we're gonna get into some battles with some monsters, eh? For taking a lamp? Consequences, yes. Or not, actually. We going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Game is like just cut her off. You know she's walking in ruins, in bare feet. I would imagine you'd step on some sort of a sharp object, like a sharp rock, or, you know, debris. I don't know, man. Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? In your pocket. Ah, the sun. That's a very nice view when you come out of ruins for sure oh, at last but it was worth it right you learned something about Siri in the end something important do you intend to venture into crookback bog you must tell me about it afterwards don't know that I'll get the chance Geralt there are two types of men those who see opportunity and take advantage and those who forge the opportunities themselves I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit me sometime? Gotcha. Say, I'll try. We'll, uh, we'll leave her hanging. We're not gonna commit all the way, but we'll be like, maybe, we'll see. I'll try. In that case, I shall be waiting. See you, Kira. Just gonna teleport all the way back to her hut. West of the ah! 100 experience points. An invitation from Kira. I think we all know what's gonna happen, right? We're gonna rub the magic lamp and uh, we're gonna have some wishes. That's what's happening. 
All right. So let's see. We're just level six. That was the entrance to the cave or the ruins. More like ruins to me. Um, so this is the first major area of the game. And it's called Velen is the land. And this is how huge it is. All, all of this that you see, you can go to. I can't zoom out anymore because if I do, it actually goes to the world map. But this is the first major starting area. It is massive. I can definitely see uh, people putting in 200 hours into this game for sure. Uh, that might be something that I do. I don't know, though, but... Uh, Quest-wise... Um... Should we do Lady of the Woods, or can we do the Bloody Baron next? I think this was a question that somebody asked on the forums, and somebody said... You can do the Witch and Ladies of the Wood quest line, and then you can do the Bloody Baron one, but I don't know. I don't know. Invitation. Oh, we got a lot of things that opened up now. This is quite interesting. All right, so what I think we're going to do is I need to go back to town somewhere. I don't know. I don't even know if there was a merchant around. Maybe in one of these towns or these little villages over here. That's the Baron. Might might check that out. Uh, in keep. I don't know if you could sell things there. I'm not quite sure. But that's huge. Um, all right. So what I'll do is save the game. It's uh, currently 94 degrees outside, otherwise known for you Europeans, uh, 34 Celsius. That's pretty darn hot. Good music, nice. Glad you like it. It's Monster Cat music. Uh, a lot of people that stream play that because it's uh, the music is copyright free. So your VODs uh, don't get muted from Monster Cat, but uh, wasn't actually a fan of EDM music uh, until Monster Cat. I listened to that. Um, <laughs> I'm basically I'm basically somebody that listens to just rock and metal metal music, and that's basically it. So <clears throat> throwing EDM in there was different for me, but it's still pretty good. I enjoy it. They got me some tea and got me some standing ups, stretching the legs. It's pretty good. Um, let's take in a second. Uh, Guys, I'm going to go ahead and read some stories to y'all. So let's catch up on some lore. Uh, let's see. This looks interesting. Uh, after the White Frost. Spiring ash down dreamy hills past sparkling waters. Tir Nalia drifts slowly, softly silently into oblivion sage lips blacken frosted bones quiver before an ice-bound eye can blink in distant skies i will watch your descent interesting don't know what that means sage's notes day 3275 final conclusions regarding the lamp my experiments experiments my experiences with the magical lamp unequivocally confirm that by using it active 
using its active centers of condensed spiritual energy can be coaxed into contact and com can communicate a limited set of the being's last memories. Lara Doran's remains, however, emit entirely inert spiritual energy despite the violet conditions of her death, which should have strengthened the des desired tendency. Uh, Laura remains silent. At this point, further research on lamps enabling contact with the dead seem entirely useless for my purposes. All right. Elven sages. Wow, that's a lot. Many think Ian Saverhern. Don't know how that's pronounced. Meaning sage is simply the elder speech term for sorcerer. Yet to equate a sage with a common practitioner of magic is akin to considering a newly drafted private a sticking out of his of his britches. Uh, a witcher's witcher's equal simply because both wield swords. The sage wields magic, true, and does so the greater skill that even the most accomplished of human mages. The great renown and regard in which they are held, however, comes not from his skill, but from the other truly rare abilities they possess. Nothing is secret for an elven sage. They both they see both past and future as easily as the present. They have mastery over all the arcana of magic as well as every domain of scholarship. They are the only ones who can understand the nature and operation of the so-called Elder Blood and the gene of Lara Doran, and they guard this knowledge jealously. How numerous are the Elven Sages? In all my life, I have met only one, Ida Amin of the Blue Mountains. She might possibly be the last representative of this mysterious case. Case? Interesting. Case cast? It is true I have encountered... I have encountered... Mentioned... A male elf... That really looks weird to read. Uh, who might also belong to it. But as of this writing, I have been unable to confirm this. The way they write the sentences is kind of interesting. The Bear Legend. The Berserkers do not constitute a separate clan in terms of blood or lineage. They are instead a family forged by warriors who have heard the call of the bear and answered it by abandoning their loved ones and joining the community of mountain dwellers. Not every man who seeks to join it is accepted into the Brotherhood. The candidates must first pass difficult trials, which usually end in their death. The last trial is the hardest. It is called the Trial of the Bears Triumph, but a few outside the Brotherhood have ever witnessed it, and none know what those who undergo it must endure. It's like becoming a warden in Dragon Age. Uh, quite curiously, the inhabitants of Skellige, or Skellige, I forgot how it was pronounced. They pronounced it early on in the game, but it's not like Skellige or something. I don't know. Uh, themselves know very little about the Berserkers, or the Wildkarls, as they call them. They do not like to talk about these man-bears, not with outsiders, and not even amongst themselves. Welcome to Lore Hour, where I'm trying to read some of these books that we've uh, found on our journey. Elder Blood. What exactly is Elder Blood? According to some, it is a powerful elven curse passed from generation to generation. Those in whose veins the infamous Hen Iker flows are said to carry death and destruction within them, to sow hatred and disdain in their hearts of men. It was from this containment, contaminated blood, that Ithline prophesied an avenger would be born and a destroyer of nations and worlds. Others claim the Elder Blood is an extremely rare inherited talent, granting control over time and space to a degree unattainable even to Elven Sages. Sadly, few bearers of this gift have been able to control it in full, 
uh, this merely this merely partial mastery inevitably leads to sudden outburst of p the power that takes the form of unpredictable, uncontrollable, and thus extremely dangerous explosions. Behind the, the dark legends about the curse of the Elder Blood lies the truth of these tragic cases. For, for obvious reasons, the bearers of the Elder Blood were always subjects of great interest to the world's mighty and to mages alike. The former counted on the truth of Ithlin's prophecy on an Avenger being born who could destroy worlds and who they could thus use for their purposes. As for the latter, they hoped to harness the magic of Hen Iker to broaden their own knowledge and powers. Ultimately, however, all these plans were for naught. The Elder Line broke off with the disappearance of the heiress to the Nilfgaardian crown, Cirilla Fiona. Ellen Ri Rihanna? Rihanna. <laughs> Ran on? I don't know. Introduction to magic. I think we'll read one more and that'll be it. These are all the ones we've gotten since we started, so. One more. Introduction to applied magic. Magic is the science of harnessing, subduing, and making use of the power of the elements. It is also an incarnation of chaos, which is why no one without proper training should ever dabble in any of its domains. Expert mages make make of magic an art, but the road is virtuous but the road to virtuity leads through years of practice, study, and hard work, and requires a considerable amount of required inborn talent. Magic was implanted in our world through the conjunction of the spheres and was discovered to be a living, changeable, and controllable being shortly thereafter. The name of the first mage, the one who first discovered this talent within himself and grappled with, with its power, is unknown. We do know, however, that in a, re in a relatively short period of time after the discovery of magic groups began to form, in which talents, talented beings could work together on developing their abilities. This period is usually considered the beginning of magic as a science, and these groups, these prototypes of magic schools, the fundamental planes from which one might draw magic power are earth, water, air, and fire. In the tomb which you currently hold, each of these will have a separate chapter dedicated to it ordered according to the level of difficulty and danger associated with the element discussed dot 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 and that's where it ends a lot of reading a lot of reading a lot of messing up during the reading what are you gonna do i think we already read most of these letter to yennefer why is there two letters to yennefer Give me for not asking about your health or how you've been these last years. Time is very short. I have important news we must meet and ride uh, to Willoughby near Vizima. And don't spare the horses. While I do eagerly await our reunion, I won't be able to wait eagerly or otherwise very long. Your dear friend, Jennifer. P.S. I still have the unicorn. Excellent. If you don't know what that is, you'll know when you play the beginning of the game. All right, that's enough reading. That's enough reading. Look at Geralt looking all cool. He's got his foot on the rock and he's like, yes. I am a man. So just real quick, I want to double check um, the quest. Um, which are three ladies of the wood? What the heck do I have on here? What the heck was that? Oh, apparently I took off the sticker on the back of the, uh... <laughs> the controller. It says, uh, Microsoft on it. Uh, we'll put that there. Interesting. Uh, Ladies of the Wood. Or... 
bloody baron. i'm not sure which one to do first.